I don't know what to do. Like, I, 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 again, I'll the, try to lower my voice, but... Uh, I, again, the, the least we can do is try to be quieter for them. But it's Sandy versus Zenyu. <laughs> they muted out the SD part because uh, it's, it's a little more vulgar than you would have wanted. He did lose a money match and was forced to change his name. But Zenyu versus Sandy, um, they were roommates in the past. So, okay. so this is definitely a, a Mario matchup that we want to see. But with Zenyu Mario, it, it's legendary, right? But the good thing about it is that Mario is able to use his Nair to get out of those combo strings, exactly what we just saw from them. All right, coming in with the very solid combo from Zenyu right now. Zenyu is still controlling the neutral uh -huh. and getting him with the reverse back air. Very nice. Uh huh. And hits him with the fireball, but thankfully he saved his double jump, unable to get it out, and uses the Nair once more. But the jabs catch it out. Zenyu controlling this match so well and hits him with the up smash to anti air him immediately. So 22% already Zenyu looking so strong. Yeah, that was amazing. That was, this was an amazing call off from Zenyu. He knew he wanted to land with an air. He, he knew he wanted to to land with something that can probably get something going, and Zenyu just called him out. Playing the same exact character, playing the mirror itself is just kind of frustrating because your opponent has the same tools that you do. Mm -hmm. I love how they, like, I loved how Sandy hit him up with one up air and hits him up with the second. He hits him up with an up air and then Zenyu fires back with another one, and then they trade back once more, but these grabs from Zenyu are calling out Sandy's shield so hard. Yeah, and again, Zenyu, so, something that Zenyu continues to do is He's pressuring Sandy into shield, correct? Mm -hmm. And because he's pressuring Sandy into shield, like right there, he's able to get these grabs. Uh -huh. He's able to get the mix-up into into Tomahawk grabs. He's able to get the mix-ups into an aerial or into a special that he wants to set up something that can possibly be a kill. Mm -hmm. And these grabs after grabs, I love these up airs that Zenyu is pulling out, really forced to get, try to use the down smash to catch it out, and the grab once more. We're seeing it again and again. And the flood is potentially out there, but look how t look how strong Zenyu is right now. He's demanding so much space and tried to get an L smash out of it. But my goodness, what's really hard, especially going against Zenyu, if you're going for a Mario Ditto, there's no other person who understands Mario than Zenyu. Yeah, and that Master Mario may be better than Zenyu at this point, but he did idolize Zenyu. Uh, I think he still idolizes oh, he's Zenyu. Still and Zenyu, <coughs> again, showing exactly why uh, the Mario still look up to him. Yep, he's such a good Mario. He's able to get it out. He's still got the reminiscence, rem reminiscence of Smash 4, able to pull out these crazy combos out of nowhere. And here it comes. He's constantly labbing them out on stream and what uh, and ever what not. But he's going to go ahead and be able to recover easily. But, oh god. It's really hard for Sandy because, like you said, they both have the same tools. And they both know what each other want. Yeah, it's, it just comes to the understanding of the character and the understanding of the neutral that they want to play. And Zenyu is ex oh. exempt. He, he is showing that, <laughs> but Sandy is showing that he he can ride with, he can roll high, he can high roll as well. Goes with that outside, which could have been very detrimental if he had missed. Mm -hmm, but look at this confirm, confir confirmation. Oh god, we're both flubbing words right now. That Nair is so good on Mario, able to confirm into these situations where it forced him into a tech. We see both of them running into each other with these Nairs, hits him with the fastball Nair, the weak spot of it, into these down tilts, able to force him out, but uses the flood to push him away. Great job by Sandy to try to force some space out, but it's not looking too good right now for him. Gets the forward tilt right there, and not going to be able to capitalize on it. All right. Oh, just continuing to short hop in his and gets that's a jab block. The okay, finally gets the stop. Mm -hmm. hits, him, hits him with the F smash right in the gonads, but Zenyu, he was constantly fishing it out. It was bound to happen at one point. And this is Zenyu's Mario after all, so... Uh, it, it just felt like, see, they're both going for these arrows, they're both going for these fastball up airs, they're going for the, for the, for the up airs into nares, into down tilts, whatever, but it was just that Zenyu was able to pull it off in the end, just better. It, it was just more overall in his favor, because like we said before, it's these ditto matchups, it really just comes down to the fundamentals and who understands their character better. So, game number two. All right, going back into it on Pokemon Stadium here. No character switches, both Mario and Sandy actually going to start it off. No, nope, Zenyu going to answer straight yeah. back with more percentage than Sandy put on. Mm -hmm. Hit him up for that down throw into up air strings. Able to get on the platform, is able to stay a little bit safer, but look at this conversion coming in. Oh. It, it, it just... 
there's like it feels like it feels very awkward especially cash just because you both know exactly what they both want and here it comes that nair into that that grab once more zenyu i love his conversion he goes for the grab it does the instant turnaround back here but this time since he knows he didn't wasn't able to get it he just went for the back he just went for the reverse and just went for the pressure knowing that sandy had to respect it and that down air not going to kill just yet unfortunately so zenyu going to make it out but actually sandy does confirm the stock so Looking pretty good for him with the stock advantage, but Zenyu looking for an opportunity to fire right back. Ooh, goes for the cape. Sandy forced in order to go for it. He's forced into an early recovery, which finally gets him out. But that down air unable to take it just yet. We're using the FUD to get some space away, so good job by him. But that back air finally clips him out. Zenyu, with only 13% on him, it wasn't, it wasn't really too bad for him. Once more, using that down air again. He's able to force him into really uncomfortable positions. Goes for the pivot grab. Here comes the fastball fair into the spike. He gets it again. That's the Zenyu combo we all been looking for. Hits him up at 22%. Zenyu on fire. Oh, I, oh, what? oh my god. He went for it. Okay, oh. no, he's got to jump. Oh, wait, no, no, he, he doesn't. That, he, he took that jump. He took it out. Zenyu. Wait, wait. He took it with that up air, right? Mm -hmm. He okay, took yeah, it yeah, out. Yeah. Zenyu. Clip him out his old roommate just like that. Whew. That combo at the end looks so on point. I, if he got the spike, that would have just put the icing on the cake, but was able to steal away that jump with that up air. It was looking so good for him.